This is Robert Capetta, professor of mathematics at College of DuPage in Glenelg, Illinois. Today's lesson in Math for Health Sciences is dosages using a nomogram. A nomogram is a tool for us to determine the body surface area if we know a person's height and weight. So here's what we want to do. We want to find that body surface area in square meters. Square meters is the unit that uh, is typically used in medicine. And we're going to draw a line from the height of an individual to the weight of that person on that nomogram to find the body surface area. So here's what a nomogram looks like. So we have height in feet on one side, height in centimeters in the other, depending on which information you have, weight in pounds on one size, weight in kilograms on the other. We're going to draw a line from a person's height to a person's weight, and where it crosses will be the approximate body surface area, and that will enable us to determine the dosage of medication that we want to use. So here's what we're interested in finding. We want to find the body surface area for a woman who is 5 foot 6 and weighs 150 pounds. So to do that, we've got to find 5 foot 6 on the height side of the nomogram. We've got to find 150 pounds on the weight side of the nomogram, draw the line, and see where it crosses the body surface area part. So where is 5 foot 6? 5 foot 6, you'll notice, is right about here. 150 pounds is right about there. So we'll draw a line from 5 foot 6 to 150. You would typically use a ruler or a straight edge to see where they cross. Here's the line that I've drawn. You'll notice from 5.6 to 150. And you'll see that it crosses somewhere between 1.7 and 1.8. <clears throat> On the nomogram I'm using, there are five tick marks between 1.7 and 1.8. So each one would correspond to 0.02. I believe in other nomograms, you may have 10 marks between 1.7 and 1.8. So you just need to be able to figure out what that means. So where is it crossing? What does it mean? Somewhere between 1.7 and 1.8, maybe the third tick mark up. So if we're three tick marks from 1.7, 1.72, 1.74, 1.76 .7 would be my best guess for the body surface area for that individual. Now, the dosage of the medication says 80 milligrams per square meter. So we want to give someone that medication. And again, this person is 5 foot 6 and weighs 150 pounds. So now that we know approximately what the body surface area is, we can find the dosage. So from the nomogram, we saw it's about 1.76 square meters. So 80 milligrams per square meter, 1.76 square meters, We'll multiply those together to determine the dosage for that individual. So you, indeed you can see how this works here. 80 milligrams per square meter times 1.6 square meters. The square meters would cancel. The square meters go away. That square meters goes away. 80 times 1.76 gives us a dosage of 140.8 milligrams. So let's look at another question. This time we'll say a man weighs 100 kilograms. So we need to use the 100 kilogram side of the nomogram for weight. He is 6 foot 2 inches tall. And the label says 60 milligrams per square meter. And we want to find the dosage. So how can we do that? Well, 100 kilograms and 6, point, 6 feet 2 inches tall, where would that be? So 100 kilograms, weight in kilograms on this side, 100 kilograms is about here. Uh, 6 feet 2 inches, 6 feet 2 inches is about there. So we would draw the line between those two points to see what the body surface area is for that individual. So looking a little bit more closely at the nomogram, drawing in that line, this is what we see. 6, inch, six feet 2 inches is about there. 100 kilograms is about there. So you'll notice this time it lands between 2.2 and 2.3. Uh, getting very, very close to this, I think it's somewhere between 2.6 and 2.8. Remember, each tick mark corresponds, excuse me, 2.26 and 2.28. 
each tick mark corresponds to 0.02, so I'm averaging those two, and we're approximating at 2.27 square meters. So if we do that, we now want to find the dosage. So how do we do that? The dosage says 60 milligrams per square meter, and he is 2.27 square meters. So 60 milligrams per square meter times 2.7 square meters gives us a total of 136.2 milligrams will be his dosage. And that will complete this lesson.